And for those who understand, if OnePassive was interested in their benefit, self-serving, popularity, or, you know, monetization when it comes to money and all of that, if we're interested in that, we're going to push all the traffic to OnePassive.com or one single domain name, regardless of the location. But the fact for who understand the logic, for those who understand the logic, the fact that we said, no, you're the hero, this is your property, we're going to build on your property that you have full ownership of, okay, it's unique to you, like your social security, whatever, and that gives us the ultimate, the ultimate uh, uniqueness and credibility as uh, it's, it's all about you. Uh, and uh, it becomes a beautiful show after that. When you have those hundreds of millions of locations, uh, when I say you're gonna own the market or we're gonna own the internet, yes, literally, literally. Because you're the biggest crowd and any other location is just one location. But anything that is linked to our business, we're talking about hundreds of millions of domain names, multiply that by hundreds of pages, billions. And everything leads to Rome. So we are the biggest crowd and the biggest market, open market. And if you want to go anywhere, let's say down the road, you're not going to go far without a passive. This is the biggest crowd. This is the biggest mall. This is the biggest marketplace where, where most of the commerce is going to go there. Now somebody's going to think, okay, so, oh, we're going to replace Amazon or we're going to, no, totally different. Total, I'm talking about, you know, so we want everybody to have their unique value and we're not in a clash or contradiction with anyone. We have just a different game, a different lane of our own and everybody else, but in fact, it will help them. It just sort of organizing everybody in one place instead of like an open, random, wild wilderness, like people have no idea where to go and they're just fighting each other. It just we're organizing this in such a professional way thanks to the new technologies, thanks to the expertise we have, and thanks to AI. We're able to organize and, and categorize this in such a beautiful, easy way where people come and have fun. Okay, you just go to the back office or to your, uh, what do you call this, um, the ecosystem or mobile app, just open it. You have it open all the time. That's it, you're connected to anything. You want to communicate? It's there. You want to transfer money? It's there. You want to have a class in something? It's there. You want to uh, learn how to do? It's there. You want to host? You want to do, do business? You want to manage your staff? You want to run a, a shop? You, it's there. Everything you need in one stop shop. And the best part, we're installing that on your own domain name. It starts with you. You're the hero. You are the hero. We're not telling you, oh, send traffic to onpassive.com. This is your, no. Well, onpassive is sending traffic to your own domain. And you, it's allowing you to interact and exchange business and activities within our sphere, our um, ecosystem. You got something to sell, go for it. It's a massive market. So I'm going to have to tell you something. Now you're going to be a very good, or let's, let's put it this way. You're, you're, you should be now educated on how to evaluate a proper business model. So let's say somebody invites you. They send you a video or an email or a link to look at. 
One thing you want to look at, do you get your own property? Or you, they're going to have to send them traffic to their own property. When I say property, is their web address, is the domain name. If the question, you're going to have to send them traffic, you're not benefiting yourself, you're benefiting them. If you come across a business model that tells you, you know, before you go far, we're going to give you your own identity. And don't send us traffic, just send it to yourself. And if you want to buy traffic, we'll send the traffic to yourself, to your uh, location. That's a clean business model. And that's the only business model I would do. So now you should be more uh, knowledgeable when it comes to reviewing an offer that you may receive. I'm sure you receive offers every day. Take a look. Is it all one website? Everybody participates and push there. Yeah. A lot of people, they'll, they'll look at the statistic. We are on Alexa. I don't know if you know. It's like a, a meter for the website traffic. Like it's number 50,000 or 4,000 on the world. It's like Google, Facebook, this uh, YouTube is number one, this, that, uh, right? Uh, so I am number 1,000. I don't mention that. I'm not interested in ranking on passive.com as one of the highest trafficked uh, uh, area or uh, website. Why? The, it might mean something for the company. Oh yeah, I'm building it. No, I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in your recognition, your own location. And that's why we don't mention, I'm not impressed if I become the number one website. It, it's, got no meaning to me, no value. But I'm interested if chrisjohnson.com is having some good traffic to flow to it and he's got something reasonable to sell and it's making a difference in his business or activities or hobby or whatever he's doing. I'm more interested in that. In plain English, Mr. Halbert, there are things that you could survive a business without them. You could probably get away with it, okay? They're secondary accessories. But there's some critical, uh, critical foundations and essentials for your business. Having a domain name and your business is only located on your own address that belongs to you and you have full ownership of that, that is a critical fact. You've got to have that. It's not something to negotiate or to consider something else. Now. Could we have it through somebody else and we market for it? Yeah, we could, but we're not going to have the control nor the flexibility when it comes as a business to install things on it for you, on your behalf. We give it to you at a cheaper rate. All of that is live, instant, all of that. So it makes sense for us to go and and, and apply and become a re official accredited registrar on this agency, which is so uh, uh, difficult to, to, to be recognized with it. I personally been, I'm not going to say on this specific O domain uh, project, but on the journey or the dream of having, uh, you know, our own ICANN accreditation for years, years, many, many years. And if somebody knows the, you know, some of the companies I've built, like, uh, in a huge way uh, in the domain industry and um, it is touching now that a company years ago I used to market for and I just got a little bone here and there you know peanuts that's what paid us they paid us okay I never got the chance to be recognized or respected or uh, I'm just a slave 
All right, I built their business, and I didn't even get a card by mail. Not a card, okay? Not a thank you. Uh, and, you know, sadly. But uh, the, the touching part that we're a hundred times bigger than them today. And we're just getting started. Just getting started. I mean, if somebody thinks like, okay, we're done, no, we're just warming up. But as we go, we're much bigger now. We're much uh, experienced, more experienced now, okay? Uh, we've learned a lot, of course, okay? And, and like one of the examples, like we don't announce things until they're done. I think we're getting better. Uh, so what we could achieve now in a year, it, it could be what previously could take us uh, five, six years. Uh, one of the projects, it's a whole new project, okay? We are, uh, we just had a discussion about today, five hours presentation. <laughs> Uh, what was the saying? Uh, the sky is not our limit. I think the sky is our opening point or something like that. I'm, I'm going to have to look at it. I have it here. So that was amazing. So uh, do you remember uh, a while ago I said we deliver dreams, okay? You got a dream, bring it on board, we'll make it happen, we'll fund it, we'll, uh, we'll cut, you know, years of your life, if not, uh, you know, uh, a ton of money, millions, and we make it happen, and you're the hero. Uh, we're, we're more interested in the implementation, making and providing value than having the credit and the... Uh, uh, you know, the, the, the profit aspect. Yeah, you could say now we're at a point where we could have at least one new project every month that is agreed or implemented, but offers daily just by the people we have sky is not the limit sky is home huh. that is the exact word all right let's go to somebody that is more fun and more before we do that more more informative. Yeah, yeah right. Uh, before we do that, if I understand correctly, Mr. Ash, uh, not only is the domains for us is going to be you know, our prop, but we are also going to be one of the. We are going to be marketing to the public domain names. Exactly. Correct? Yeah, you're right. So. And now you have that ownership because I'm making you an affiliate with me, okay? So when you, when people buy their domains, which is everybody should, because previously people would have to go Instagram.com, open account, or MySpace, I think, okay? Or Facebook.com or whatever. They had to open AOL.com, okay? Uh, you previously had to open, yeah. Okay, but now it is your domain, ron.com, and when people purchase from it, it's already given you credit for that. You're being compensated. And anything ever after from that marketplace. So how many people now, like I said, 
people were thrilled, okay, I don't know, 10 years ago or so, with, man, I can post something and my relatives in Vietnam can see it, in Ecuador can see it, the whole world, I can paint, oh, oh this is mind boggling. But it's one domain name, it's one company, one guy is cashing that out. It's a hack, all right? Unethical, because we're sell they're selling your data. Where now, no, 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 you don't go to, X or, or abc.com, xyz.com, and everybody's building. No, 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 no. This is my home. This is my digital property. This is my real estate. Juan.com. I take ownership of that. And that's where I say, uh, uh, not just uh, uh, a generic, uh, you know, uh, everybody just being a used versus you are the user, you are the user, versus the used as of now. Huge difference between everybody goes to onedomain.com versus now, no, you go to my domain, this is my home. What you're interested in now might not be the same five years from now. I'm just gonna give you an example. You sold things online before, right? And you swore, I'm sure like 10 times, this is the holy grail, okay, or this is it, okay, I'm just gonna, but when you go back to your audience, what do you tell them? I know last time it wasn't that, you know, uh, thrilling. I know it didn't turn out the way we thought, but give me one more chance, buddy, okay? This is probably it. Follow me here. Now it's not abc.com, it's, you know, fdbg.com, okay? And, uh, it's not too expensive. It's, it, okay. You're gonna have to beg people. You're gonna have to request arm. You're gonna have to uh, convince. And they go one more time. A month later, I know we've had this conversation before, like ten times again, and I know it wasn't what we thought. But this is like now in Bitcoin. This has got. This got to be it. Okay. Or this is the, then you go ahead and like and you burn yourself and people are gonna start hanging up the phone in your face. They're not gonna talk to you anymore. And and you go why? Because to me it appears Juan doesn't know what he's talking about. What the hell is he talking about? Every time he comes this, that, that he's confused. Settle on something and then come and sell me. You don't have to do that. You know why? Because your business is never going to change. This is your permanent business. It's Ron.com. After one year, you sell something, doesn't work, no big deal. You're not changing Ron.com. It's Ron.com. It might, you know, a, a red light bulb or a blue or yellow. Yeah, you can change that. Nobody knows what's inside your shop. But your shop or your, the sign from outside says Ron.com. So you go back to your old pal say, oh, so what are you doing now, Ron? Same thing I've been doing for the last 10 years. Ron.com. Though, that might have changed 5, 10, 50 different products, ventures within, but it wouldn't matter. On the outside, you're Ron.com permanently. That gives you all a ton of credibility, a ton of trust and you don't have to swear anymore and put your hand on the bible and say you know please I, you know I, I guarantee no 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 you don't have to you're not gonna have to beg okay it is wrong so if if joe asked you hey buddy what are you doing on.com five months later oh how is it going how's your thanksgiving now great how's business on.com Next Christmas, how are you doing? Hope everything is good, family good? Thank God, everything is good. How's business? Great. What are you doing? Juan.com. Three years, Juan.com. Now, oh man, this man is, looks like it's working for Juan. Hook me up. They will buy or die, one of the two. Confidence, trust.
But if you're gonna change that main domain every time, like, oh, look, this is the link, this is the link, this is the link. So how would I do my business? Ash Mufara, that's my business, that's my shop, or Ash, whatever the brand is, okay? And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna promote generic link. I'm gonna have full control of my identity. I'm not gonna change the story on you. I'm gonna be doing this business. Listen, you might change a product, product, you know, things, get oversaturated yeah sure no problem this is not selling anymore no problem you can change lane but you're on the same direction and that's telling if I ask you and every time you tell me the same thing I'm gonna tell you a, a quick thing uh, Years ago, when phone was a big thing, we were talking on the phone a lot, okay? Not so much uh, digital webinars and conferences. We used to talk on the phone, okay? And there was a big, uh, a CEO, that's in California, and he was, he got some sort of illness and he needed to slow down a little bit so he wanted to close that and just uh, lock arm with one of his good buddies okay just to to take the part where the, you know they're passionate about okay I'm one of his buddies okay and then he got a B C okay uh, options right and we you know everybody did their pitch and you know how he could fit in do you know why he chose me? We were talking for like months and we did business together because we had an open conversation in person after, that, uh, after a while. We met in an event with a few of these pals and we talked, well, how did you make your decision? He said, I looked at every one of you, every time you were just like so fast going, like a, a different product, a different business, a different direction. Like it, it's confusing. It makes me nervous every time. When I talk to Ash, he's always on the same lane. And guess what? I knew this guy, he talked about me. I knew this guy for the last 10 years. He never changed his email address. He never changed his, uh, phone number he looked at my phone number that uh, didn't change but with with let's say with Peter with Lamar with this with that it changed a few times I'm giving you actual names it changed a few times so to the recipient it sounds you know uh, like you're confused you're not you're unclear on your vision you're not so passionate you're just scattered all over the place but when you have that domain you your your phone number your email addresses that's it hey it gets better when you have your own domain is contact at ron.com admin at ron.com it gets better so when you give me your like you introduce yourself it's no so and so gmail Yahoo, whatever, okay. No, you're telling me Ron.com. How powerful is that? And you do that until you die. This is all you have. So the trust is unbelievable. The credibility that it gives you when you have a stable, steady identity. You're always in the same place. It's not like, okay, food truck same location okay I can consider but that I have to chase them come on sit somewhere I'm not gonna be chasing you but if you're always in the same place always in the same location I'm more comfortable to do business with you I know where you are I know where to find you 
contact support at ron.com. It's forever. Huge. And if it's done in any other way, I'll be skeptical. I'm talking about long term. If somebody's going to tell you, send traffic to this link, their link, you're a slave. 